Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic city using Google. Now first what you'll need to do is go to your create panel and within object type select plane and then draw your plane. Once you've done that you'll need to go across and select splines from the drop down list here and then line. Once you've done that just scroll down and make sure you have the following selected. So under rendering enable in rendering and enable in viewport. Also you want to have rectangle selected and finally you'll have the initial type corner selected as well. Now once you've done all that you can begin to draw uh, your roads in, your footpath depending on what you're wanting. So let's draw a few along here. You can draw them as straight lines, you can draw them as jiggered. So I'll do a few different ones here. That one didn't quite work. Let's get rid of that one. Try again there. Draw one across there. Curved one. So you can have as many or as little as you like, depending on the style and the formality of your city that you're wanting there. So we'll finish up there. Now what you can do also is go back to select and you can adjust the width of each one to represent separate things. So if I select this one here and go to modify, scroll back down to the rectangle where we've selected and change the width. So that's quite thin for like a road maybe, so maybe we can make that a two if you wanted. Uh, this one here might be acting as a footpath, so one might be good. Whereas this one may be a main sort of road, highway in the city sort of thing, you can make it a three. This one here, again, could maybe be a bit bigger, so we can make that a two. Basically what you can do is you can go through and adjust it all so that you can see how the width will cut out and how the greeble will form around it. Um, and let's maybe leave this one as a true as well. So you can play around with that um, and edit it to whatever you like. You can change the length as well if it's not long enough and things like that. But for now, let's leave it as it is. Now, what we'll need to do is create all of these as one object. So if I right click on one of them and go down here to convert to, and then select convert to edible poly. Basically what this will do is it will bring up this dialog box first of course, but what it will do is it will link all of these lines that you've just drawn into one object so that down the track when we have to select all of them, we don't have to select each individual line itself. So this will help if you have quite a large city that you're mapping out and there's heaps of roads, you won't have to go through and select each one, you just have to simply select one of them and that will cut out every single one attached to that. So what we'll do here in the uh, little drop down here is under edit geometry, we'll select attach. And obviously we're not clicking the one we've already selected because that's the one we're attaching everything to. So if we go around and select it, as you can see as I start to select, you'll see that the color changes to red because we're attaching it to that red line that we originally drew. And that's all done. So if we go back to the select object, you'll see here you've got your plane, deselect and you've got your edible poly deselect. Now that that's done we need to cut out the edible poly from the plane so it looks more like a road and not just lines going through a square. So we'll need to select our plane and go back to the create panel and then here under the drop down you'll select compound objects and probolene. So select that one there. Now again you'll get a new little dialog box so you'll go down here and select subtraction if it's not already ticked and cookie because we're cutting it out. Then we'll go down here to advanced options and we'll select make quadrantals. Now as you can kind of see here this will make the grid random so rather than having that you know grid that's all the same throughout the city it will make it random and look more city like. So we tick that. And then we change that to, let's say five, we want it a bit thicker. 
We won't see much of a change yet because the greeble hasn't been applied. But once we apply the greeble, rather than it being in that same structure grid-like, you'll be able to see it sort of randomised throughout the plane and the streets that we're cutting out here. So what we'll do now is we'll scroll back up and select Start Picking. And this is where I was mentioning that it will make it so much easier than going around and picking each thing. You select Start Picking, just select the one and done. All of them are cut out at once and you save yourself a lot of time as well. So now that that's done, we can go back to our select and we want to make this all one object now that that's the plane before we add the greeble. So as we did before, we'll need to right click, convert to, convert to edible poly. And then this dialog again will pop up and that's that one object. Now, if in selection, you've got these little pop-ups now if you select the square which is polygon and then if we scroll down here to edit polygons and select insert now nothing you like you'll see happen or change because you need to select it all and then it will go red and as i said before now you can see that grid that's all randomized and not sort of a structured grid once you've done that next to the insert option over here you'll see the little square and it says settings so if you select that you'll be able to see here a little pop-up. Now, if you select this little arrow under the insert group, we'll need to select by polygon because just above we selected polygon. And then again, that will select it there. Now you can adjust this if you want. I'm happy with how it is. But for example, if we adjust that to a two, you'll see that overlap, but that's a bit much. So we're gonna go back down to a one, but you can adjust that there depending on what you're needing. Now, if we click the little tick here, that's done. And now, finally, we just need to add the greeble. So if you go back to modify under the modify list and select that there. Now you can scroll through and find it, but I find it much easier just to type G on the keyboard and there it is, the greeble. So select that and your greeble will apply straight away to your grid there, as you can see. And you can see all that in there. Now, you can also play around with this depending on what type of city look you're after. So if I pop it down to this view, this might help so we can see all this. So if we select it and go down here to panels and generate, so you can adjust the minimum and maximum height. So as you can see, there's all different heights throughout it. If we change the minimum height to say five meters, that all bumped up and change the maximum height to let's say 20 for this and then scroll back out, you'll be able to see that that's adjusted. So again, you've still got the different heights and things, but they're different. Um, they're a bit taller. You've got the skyscrapers, you've got the mid-rise, things like that. And then obviously you've got all of that on a plane that we've created through the paths, roads, highways as well. So you can see all that. And that's it. That's your Greeble City made and all your path and road. Hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.